My name is Rikia Abe, uh, University of Tokyo. Today I'm going to present digital great concept. This is very new. Uh, this is the first time to explain this concept outside Japan. Uh, it's a kind of communicative electrical grid of the future. Um, um, according to the United States DOE, 100 miles, uh, 100 miles square area of Nevada can supply all the electricity of the United States. You well know. It's a hun one, uh, 800 gigawatt huge cap capacity and using 10% commercial photovoltaic module. So the question is, why don't we come into the solar society? It is because the current grid was not designed to accept intermittent energy uh, as a primary energy source. It was designed to control voltage and frequency by varying generation because the load fluctuates, so generator has to control. And those function has not changed fundamentally in 100 years. So now, current grid is facing a growing brittleness and instability due to increasing penetration of fluctuating renewable energy, such as wind and photovoltaic. So this case is a load fluctuate and a generation fluctuate. And people are thinking to install new transmission lines uh, to make grid more stable. But in the, on the other hand, uh, the more the grid is interconnected synchronously tied up, the higher possibility, a chance that cascading outage will occur. You remember this kind of uh, big failure, blackout. <laughs> My concept about the digital grid is to change the whole idea to, uh, uh, from the large synchronous grid to a smaller segmented grid. Those standalone islands uh, can be um, standalone or sometimes uh, synchronized, and I call it, uh, name it cells. And uh, installed digital grid router, which is made of VSC voltage source converters and asynchronous connection to the grid of the cells, and it has much leg. This is very new. And install more, then you put the IP address of each leg, then you will find where you should activate and uh, if you activate the VSD converter all together, you can send the power in both ways. So this is the concept. And cell size is, can be a state, country, city, town, factory, your house, maybe, and it can be nesting. And uh, people think this is not possible, but uh, uh, for example, Taiwan, Japan, uh, many islands are isolated grid. So this is a, a concept of the power distribution in a digital grid. Uh, you see a digital grid uh, pointing. I, need. I have my pointer. <laughs> <laughs> Think about these cells, and you have a strays. And I put the color on the energy and digital grid router. And using existing transmission lines and digital grid router have an IP address. So if you want to send the power from here to there, you, uh, I should operate this converter and this converter, and also this converter. Then you can send the power. If you have a congestion here or some trouble here, you will use this line with green color power energy. So you activate this converter. So this is kind of a internet of energy. You can send power together with the information. 
you have IP header and PWM power. This is a voltage source converter using power with this mod modulation. And you may have IP footer. So this is a combined power and information. This is a configuration structure of the digital grid router. Computer control, multi-leg, SEDC converter, internet con uh, communication. These are ordinary, uh, maybe IGBT uh, voltage con source converter and uh, multiple legs and uh, DC common bus. And uh, I use a PLC terminal N, but you, we can use different type of uh, IP address uh, communication method. We can send vice versa. This power flow is uh, similar to back-to-back -back configuration and change the power flow from two to no, number N and uh, multiple flow. I made a simulation. Um, you can see a 60 hertz cell and 50 hertz cell, 40 hertz cell, combined by digital grid routers, and send the power like this. And you see uh, A and B uh, current is showing in blue color, and voltage is red color. So A and B is flowing the power, and C is nothing and change to, uh, from C to B, the color, blue color shows this uh, C and B is flowing and A is nothing, continuously smoothly changing. And uh, finally, from A to B and C together, you see the difference. So this is a kind of digital control, digital activating power flow, activating power flow. So I made it the name of digital grid. Now, if we accept, apply this concept to uh, Europe, this picture shows your grid is so strongly tied up. If you have a failure here, you will be affected here. So I divided like this. Sorry about this, but I made it in the picture and installed uh, data grid routers. And uh, step by step, I put data grid right routers. Then we have, we know the address, so we send the power like this. If you have a failure here, it is very good because this uh, cell is instantly identified the fault and uh, this uh, digital grid router has a gate signal to block in a very fast mode, which is at, uh, 10 to minus five seconds, preventing cascading blackout. This is a one-line diagram of digital grid. I, I don't explain in detail, but uh, you, you are familiar with this kind of. And uh, this is a substation, and this is a kind of a cell, microgrid, anything. And uh, you just put a um, digital grid router in between the existing transmission lines, and you can send the power. Now, if we install this kind of grid, uh, these are cells and uh, routers, and uh, you have a uh, lot of transmission paths. You just request the power, uh, maybe tomorrow, uh, from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, 100 kilowatt hour at the price of 4 cents, um, and you will get a reply from somebody and negotiate about the price and uh, energy source and make a reservation and got the confirmation. Every next day at nine o'clock, you get the uh, receive of uh, power uh, by uh, many passes or most uh, small loss paths. 
and those transactions could be uh, recorded in uh, financial records, like a bank book, date, starting time, finishing time, source cell, sending cell, receiving energy, sending energy, loss balance, tariff, money balance. And these kind of function will be done by service provider. Uh, we need a kind of certificate organization. And this concept can be applied to uh, developing nations. Um, those nations are already isolated grid, and they have a different voltage and different frequency. So it is uh, difficult to connect synchronously. So it is better to install digital grid router in each city and connect by a smaller transmission line and uh, send the power each other and grow together. So summary of the digital grid. Enabling high penetration of renewable energy and create path to a sustainable renewable, renewable energy world. And gradually convert to, uh, from the conventional grid and using existing transmission lines at high utilization factor. Covering the electric power means tagging of energy flow and enable through commodity pricing for energy. So I call it, this is internet of energy. <laughs> <laughs>